My name is Ravi Sharma, and I'll be showing a demonstration of Lorentz force law as part of MAE 535. So what is Lorentz force law? Lorentz force law describes a force effect on a moving charge due to a magnetic field. As shown in the first equation, Lo the Lorentz force law is a cross product of a charge's velocity vector v and the magnetic field vector b plus the electric field vector e all times the magnitude of the charge q. There are several forms of the Lorentz's law. However, we will be focusing on one of the more common forms which describes a force in a current carrying wire within a magnetic field. The equation on the left shows the force is current times the vector of the wire length crossed with the magnetic field, or an integral form, I times the sum of many segments of wire crossed with the magnetic field. So how do we determine the direction of Lorentz force? For a current carrying wire, we can simply use the right hand rule, which simulates this cross product. By putting your thumb in the direction of current flow, and your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, the direction of your palm will show the direction of the force on the wire. Let's go through a few demos to solidify this concept. In order to best represent the effects of Lorentz force law, I decided to come up with three simple demonstrations that I could fabricate without a lab, garage, or much as far as tools go. Together, these can serve as a learning tool which help a student think about the direction of current flow, direction of magnetic field, use of the right hand rule, and direction of the resulting force. These are the three demonstrations. First is a very simple homopolar motor. I bent a copper wire so it would make contact at the top of the battery and with the magnet at the bottom. I attra attached three neodymium magnets stacked together to the bottom of a D-cell battery. I indented the top of the battery to help keep the coil from coming off. When the circuit is closed, current flowing in the wire crossed with the magnetic field causes forces which are tangential to the battery. The result is rotation of the wire. The second demonstration shows another variation of the same effect. I connected two D-cell batteries through a wire connected to a solenoid which hangs freely. I was able to salvage the solenoid from an old speaker. At the bottom, I have placed a ferrite magnet with the magnetic field oriented vertically. With my thumb in the direction of current flow, counterclockwise, and my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, my palm faces in the direction of the resulting force, in this case, away from the magnet. When I close the circuit, the effect is a repulsive force on the solenoid. When I change the direction of the magnetic field, the resulting force now faces inward, centering the solenoid on the magnet. The same effect could have been achieved by reversing the direction of the current. The third demo is another simple motor. I connected two D-cell batteries through wires and a suspended coil in between the nails. In the center, I've placed two ferrite magnets. The copper wire is wrapped around the nails and connected to two copper bushings. The current flows to the right on the top portion of the coil and the magnetic field is pointing downwards. The force here points away from the camera. Forces point towards the camera on the bottom half. When I close the circuit, forces act on the coil, although sometimes it needs help to get started. And that's my demo project. Thanks for watching.